This movie made a big hit with Clint Eastwood's fans back in 1970, but it was far from satisfying Clint Eastwood. Clint felt that MGM, which made the film, had badly damaged it by making bad cuts in the editing room, cuts that were done over Clint's objections and the objections of the film's director, Brian Hutton. Now, Hutton and Eastwood had just scored a real big box office bullseye with their previous film together, MGM's Where Eagles Dare. But that apparently didn't convince MGM that maybe Clint and his director knew what they were doing. So MGM bosses went ahead and cut the film the way the studio wanted. And that made Clint so furious, he decided then and there he was not going to make another film until he had the clout to have the final say on the editing of any film he was in. And soon after he did, and then watch out. Up next, where the setting is the Korean War, we're spending time on an aircraft carrier with among the many, Van Johnson, Walter Pidgeon, Dewey Martin, Robert Horton, and Louis Calhoun. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, our Memorial Day weekend marathon really takes off with the men of the fighting lady. Then Jim Hutton wants to lay down on the job as a horizontal lieutenant, and Glenn Ford tries to be the very model of an imitation general. On the next TCI.